This video provides a short overview and instructions of how to set up database connectivity with Virtuo, so as part of your automated testing of browser-based applications. So Virtuo, so of course, we are a codeless test automation platform for functional UI end-to-end -end integration testing. We are on AWS, so we're public. However, you can test on the private networks using our bridge client. You can also connect to databases. So using the Virtuoso bridge that's running inside your network on a VM or a server, you can set up a database connector that's accessible via an API endpoint, but we also provide database connectors currently for Cosmos, MSSQL, and Postgres, which can be extended to other SQL providers. Now I'll show you how this actually runs, but there are of course some prerequisites. One is to download and install the Virtuoso database connector binary, which the link to download that can be provided on request. Use the running MD file to details of how to configure that connector with details such as the database address, username, password. You then need to record the URL of the VM or server on which the database connector is running. Once that's done, make sure that the bridge client, which can be found in a separate video, a link shortly coming just up here to click for the bridge client video. There we go. Uh, you would then go into Virtuoso and assign the bridge within the goal settings. Within the running MD file, there's a link to install the natural language extension for the SQL ABI database query. When that is used to write automated steps to call the API, which then accesses the database, you need to set up your SQL queries as variables. We recommend doing this within the Virtuoso environments, and we'll show this to you in a second. And then finally, once you've done that installation, which should be pretty straightforward, then create a journey that runs the SQL ABI a DB query, uh, which then uh, creates an automated step. It passes the API URL and the database query environment variables and maps the responses, which enables Virtuoso to send a query to the database through the bridge and connector, and then receive back responses to that. Okay, so what this really looks like, and assuming you have installed the binary, you've set up the database uh, details and you've got your IP address where the database connector is uh, hosted, then you can go ahead and make sure firstly that you have connected the bridge in the goal settings under environment and set up the bridge which then creates that connection between virtuoso and your private network then what you need to do is come in and ensure that you set up the url so that would be for the vm or server on which the database connector and effectively the api endpoint is hosted and then what we're going to do is show how you can set up the queries so that when you call the SQL API DB query natural language extension, you can pass in those variables and return responses and basically initiate the connection between Virtuoso and the database. So to do that, you would set up in Virtuoso environments, you would have your environment set up, which could be if you have different VM or servers for different environments, you can set up independent ones. If you just have one VM or server, then the environment is basically the details that you're going to use to connect within that environment. The number one will be to map in the URL, so the local IP on which the database connector and effectively the database resides. So map that in as a variable with a value. And then it's good practice cr to create variables. So these could be for your queries. So it could be query, you know, SQL data, for example and then to map in the actual query that you will pass through to query the database. So you can set each of those up as variables. And the reason for doing it in the environment is then it becomes independent of the journeys it's being run in, so it becomes very easy to update and maintain these, especially if you use these in separate journeys. So you can see here I've got four queries set up to query accounts, update accounts, select and update account passwords with the queries I'm gonna pass. So with that set up, Within my journey, I can then create, in this case, this journey is purely making API connections to connect to the database, where we are navigating to the uh, IP address, and this is to prevent cross-site errors. So you're ensuring that we're on uh, Virtuos is connected to the uh, VM or, or server on which the database connector is there. To then create the automated step to run the query, all I have to do is type in SQL, pick the natural language extension that I'm running, which will be to uh, call in the environment uh, URL, 
and then pass the query that I've defined at the environment variables. And then I'm going to return that into my, in this case, result before, for example. So that's all I have to do to write that step. And when I click on save, it creates the step for me. When we then go and run this journey, that will automatically go through and on this step, it will call the natural language extension to make the API call via the bridge, which passes in the URL and then the query and then returns my result by polling the database and basically querying that for the data. In this case, we're querying, we have two accounts that are returned in uh, parameterized results, which then the great thing here is you could assert on this. So in fact, in this case, I'm asserting on the username in the first set, but then I could equally, if I go into the UI, I could make a database query, return the results, and then if I had a username field on screen, then I could say, uh, write, and then we could have the uh, uh, results uh, before, and it's coming from the first set of data in the array. And then I'm gonna to choose to have the username, and then I could write that into a username field. So this could be, I could be posting data, I could be getting data from the database and then asserting on that, or then I could be using the database data to write into a field on the UI. So that's how Virtuoso can be used to achieve database connectivity uh, via the bridge and our connectors as part of your functional UI integration and end-to-end -end testing of browser-based applications.